When astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore splashed down off Florida's coast at 3:27 a.m. on March 19, 2025, they experienced firsthand why water landings remain crucial for spacecraft returning from space. Water landings provide several critical advantages for a returning spacecraft. The ocean offers a consistent level landing surface that minimizes risk associated with uneven terrain. Water's unique properties make it an exceptional shock absorber, cushioning the impact of spacecraft traveling at tremendous speeds. This was particularly important for Williams and Wilmo, who were returning after an extended 9-month mission aboard the International Space Station. The splashdown process itself is a carefully orchestrated sequence. As the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule re-entered Earth's atmosphere, it faced temperatures reaching 1500 degrees Celsius. Multiple parachutes then deployed to steady and slow the spacecraft's descent before it made the ocean surface. However, water landings aren't without complications either. Evacuation can be more challenging in open waters, especially in adverse weather conditions. Astronauts may face sickness after splashdown while waiting for recovery crews. Additionally, salt water exposure can potentially damage sensitive equipment if seals aren't perfectly maintained. The physical experience of splashdown is intense. Former NASA astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria compared it to a car accident, sudden and jarring. For Williams and Wilmo, this final phase of their journey subjected them to significant forces after 9 months in microgravity. Despite these challenges, water landings remain the preferred method for many spacecraft returns. The safety margins they provide outweigh the potential drawbacks, especially for vehicles like the Crew Dragon. As Williams and Wilmo readjust to Earth's gravity after their successful splashdown, their return serves as another testament to the effectiveness of water landings in bringing astronauts safely home from the reaches of space.